What's up guys, it's West Coast Bricks, and today we're going to have a super epic Lego minifig haul off of Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to throw up the figures right here, or the pictures that the person listed. There's a bunch of figs between Marvel, Lego, Star Wars, and just randomness. It's all for a good deal. Like, it's incredible. There's probably about 200 figs, and hopefully we'll get them for about a dollar a piece. So hopefully we have some good steals in there. I'll let you guys know what we get and a little review after. We hit the jackpot. We got such a great deal. This whole tub, we got the Eiffel Tower up top, a Cody, all these exclusive minifigs as well for 120 we'll get into the haul in a little bit but there's probably easily 500 dollars worth of stuff in here okay we're finally back and this is the haul it's super insane how many figs we got and for the price i ended up paying 100 dollars flat for all these figs and this eiffel tower that we threw into the mix is like 120 new or whatever i think it's around 100 dollars new and all the pieces are there fully intact so this paid for the lot itself, and then there's a couple of figs that are worth a lot too that you'll see that paid for the, the lot. So we'll go through them one by one. I'm not gonna go through every name, but I'll show you like what themes are from or what type of figs I got. So at first, one of the builds that we got was this rocket and this little vehicle thing. It's just missing one of those clear pins, but I'm sure I have one extra in my collection. But he's complete the figure with his legs are kind of stuck in there, I don't wanna struggle to get them out but there's rocket and the next figure slash kind of build that we got was this commander cody buildable figure let me see if i can zoom out here um complete there was just another throw in and i'm not sure how much the buildable figure cody goes for but i had to have him once i saw cody when she brought him out i was like all right throw him in i need him and then one of the last builds I got was, I believe this is a ARC-170 Microfighter, if anyone else wants to help identify it, but I believe it's the ARC-170 Microfighter with the minifig. So that was pretty cool. There's a bunch of different Microfighters. I know it's missing a flake fire missile, but honestly, those are pretty easy to make. But this was pretty sweet to throw into the mix as well. But there was a bunch of figs um, that I did, uh, did not actually need so I gave a bunch to my sister. So here is a Harley Quinn minifigure, if my camera can focus all the way. Um, so I'm actually giving all these figs to her. So a lot of these figs, like this guy's from Harry Potter. So she collects a lot of the Harry Potter stuff. So she's getting that. Uh, there was two Poseidons. So I gave her one and I kept one. I believe this gingerbread man is from the gingerbread house, the little winter village set. There is a, a Bimbo Vader. I almost kept this one, but she really wanted it, so I gave that up. There's a lot of Batman uh, figures, which I will go back and probably get more. Here's a couple of CMF Genies, I believe. They're from the CMF series. I think one's from a set, but you guys let me know where they're from. Um, this Marvel chick, I forgot. It's Gamora's sister. I forgot her name, but yes, she also was included there. We got Chip. I couldn't find Dale. Don't know if she had Dale with her or she already got rid of him, but there's Dale. Here is a Hagrid, which looks really nice. I really wanted this figure, even though it's not going to be quite mine, but at least it's in the same household. It looks pretty good. Next up, we have the Aladdin from the CMF series. I think this is Disney series the two. I believe two or one, um, but then we have Medusa as well. This is pretty cool. I've never seen Medusa. Um, I love her hair and all her little snake pieces attached. Uh, I believe this dude's from Harry Potter, I think. Not sure there. Uh, and then we have the duck floaty Batman. This guy is super cool. I have two of these, but one doesn't have the floaty. Uh, so we'll have a, a Batman with his little summer shirt. Right here we have a Draco Malfoy with the cape. Uh, I'm not sure what all these Harry Potter sets or figures are from. Uh, there's quite a bit like vintage ones like this Harry Potter and uh, some other 
Dracos and I think a couple other figures are vintage, which I don't know what um, sets they include. And there's a lot of uh, CMF series figures. So this one's from season or CMF series 12, I believe. Um, not quite sure what series, but they're just cool to have. And then we have this witch, uh, the father or Scrooge the duck, sorry, from uh, DuckTales. And then the last one that I'm giving here is this Maleficent figure as well. I know it's not the legs, but we couldn't find the legs. I'm sure I could bricklink it and get the right legs for her. So up next, we have not one, but two molded Tauntauns. These were incredible. They were just like kind of throw-ins as well. I uh, found them last second. And it's really nice to have these as I do not have a molded Tauntaun. I have the brick-built Tauntaun from the latest Microfighter set. So these were really nice to get. So here are the rest of the figs that I got from my collection. Uh, there's a lot of good steals in here. I'm going to show you all the ones that I know of. And I'm not going to show every single one. There's a lot of them are from like CMF series that I picked out for like videos and stuff for TikTok. Uh, but there's a lot of good steals in here. So hopefully you guys enjoy. But if you haven't already, make sure you like the video and also subscribe because lots more LEGO content is going to come, especially with all these figures. Uh, we'll go over a lot of more video ideas in the future with all these figs. Okay, so we're putting the sticker behind because a lot of these figures are clone troopers and stormtroopers, so they're white, so they're going to mix in with the table. So we have a lot of snow troopers, clone troopers, stormtroopers, the whole mix. Um, there was a bunch in there. there a, lot, a lot of them are mix-matched, so I couldn't really um, put them all together, but a lot of them were complete with all the heads and whatnot and accessories. So I was able to grab a bunch of the snow troopers and clone troopers. There were so many like different troopers and they were all mix matched, but I was only getting the ones I knew were complete. So I didn't want to have to worry about trying to find legs or whatnot. A lot of these P1 clone troopers are complete with the heads that come with them. So which is very nice because I don't have to go dig in for extra pieces. But then again, I have a couple of figs without the helmets, but I'm sure I'll go back and get them uh, to get helmets for them. I know. There was a bunch of extra helmets, and I didn't see a bunch of bodies with them, so I'll have to go back and get a couple of helmets for them. But it's really nice to have a big army now of P1 clone troopers and also a couple of P2 clone troopers, uh, which I did not have, so that's also a nice thing. And they're all, they all have those angry clone faces too, so that's a good sign about that. Now this fig right here, I'm not sure what it is. Um, I heard it was a riot trooper, but I don't know about the jetpack. This could be a uh, prototype Boba Fett body, which I think it is, but I don't know what this helmet is. So I think this is a prototype Boba Fett body without the helmet, but I'm not sure what the helmet go this helmet goes to. So if you guys can help me out, um, I'm sure of life, if you're watching this, you probably know what this is. Uh, I'm not sure about the helmet, but I think this is a prototype Boba Fett torso and legs. And then the last clone trooper, I got was this 212 trooper, which is really nice. I don't have this phase two uh, 212 trooper, so that was really nice to get. And if that's the right head, that's amazing, but I'm not sure about that. So here's a lot of the other Star Wars figures I got. Here's a Kashyyyk trooper, um, which was really nice. Then I got another kind of officer. Um, not sure what set these are in, but it was really nice to have because I don't have any of those. But there's a lot of figs I found. Like, I know this is a Kit Fisto body and torso, but I couldn't find the head. So that was super disappointing. Hopefully next time I could get that. Uh, this was another nice one. I know the head's not pushed in all the way, but it's a battle damage Vader. This was a sweet deal. I don't have this, and it is an amazing fig to get. Uh, here is a kind of like a chrome droid R2 unit. I'm not sure what set this one came in. But I saw this in the corner of the bucket and I was like, I have to have that one because I don't have it. A lot of these figures I don't have because um, I got rid of a lot of my collection as a kid. So a lot of my older um, Star Wars figures and sets were um, gone when I got back into it. So it's really nice to get a lot of these figures like this vintage uh, Padme. So this is really nice. This is probably the first Padme they ever made. Um, not sure what year this one came out, but that was a steal. Right here, um, I think I guys, you guys need to help me with this one. This one is, what, Django Fett, I think, or Paz Vizsla. I'm um, not sure. Wait, this is the wrong one. No, this is the Mandalorian. 
sorry, there's another one in the feature that I'll show you um, in a little bit, I think is Django Fett. Here is the Hoth Han Solo, which is really nice from the Clone Wars. And I think this one right here is Chopper, I believe. I don't have a chopper, and it's really nice to get another droid that's not R2, so that is sweet as well. Sorry, I had to switch the battery on the camera, but here is a vintage Luke Skywalker. Um, I believe this whole figure is complete, so this is really nice because I don't have any vintage, or I don't have enough vintage Star Wars stuff. It has the flesh tone face and the old printing on the helmet. Right here is a newer style. Um, it was a tie pilot um it's tie pilot so it's one of those newer um styles because of the hose piece right there that's flux tubing or like kind of rubber i don't have a new gun ray so this is really cool to get i was actually going to buy one at bricks and minifigs a couple weeks ago and i'm super happy i didn't because it was like 10 bucks and i know they were like five dollars so i'm happy i got a new gun ray because i would have got ripped off if i found out it was i don't know but happy to get one for super cheap Right here is a Boba Fett. I know it's not the right legs. I'll uh, hopefully maybe Bricklink one for the right legs. I don't know what year. I know it's not the right head either. I didn't get the right head. Um, which set this one came in, but I'm sure I could get the legs from Bricklink for super cheap. Right here is another Luke Pilot. This is also another older one. It has the Rebel logo right there. And a more modern face and some back printing as well. Over here we have a Chewbacca. This one's pretty common. I have about five of these, so this is not too fancy, but it's always nice to get another one. Maybe I'll just give that one away. And right here, I'm not sure what figure this is from. Um, I think it's Star Wars. It kind of, it could go with like Pirates of the Caribbean, but I don't think, whoops. I don't think it's Pirates. Uh, I believe it is Star Wars. Maybe the, the Wookiee Catamaran, no. One of the older Star Wars sets, I believe this one's from, but if you guys let me know where it is from, I'd appreciate that. Okay, so up next, we have a lot of this miscellaneous uh, figures, a lot from superheroes and also a bunch of CMFs. So we'll go through them one by one. That was the little alien from Toy Story. Here we have the genie. I think this is the same genie I showed earlier, but there was multiple. So I grabbed a couple because I wanted one as well then right here which is kind of cool i don't have this figure this is the andrew garfield spider-man from 2012. don't know how much he is worth but i don't have an andrew garfield spider-man so that is super fun to have up next right here we have superwoman uh i don't have her as well and it's nice to have more superheroes i don't have because i have a lot of iron man's and spider-man's so that's interesting to have and this one, I was super disappointed. I didn't go back to find the body. This is the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man head. If I find the body, that body is probably, or that whole fig is worth about, about like 50 bucks. So that's super cool if I could find that. Um, right here is the Hobgoblin, or one of the goblins from the CMF series, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure which one. Uh, we have another Poseidon. Like I said earlier, I grabbed one for myself as well because it was super cool. Right here, we have the minifig version of Hulk, which is nice to have. Don't have any types of Hulk, so that is a great pickup as well. Right here, we have the Batman, kind of like the rock version. Um, the Kiss, I would say, more like the Kiss Batman. Uh, I believe this is part of the series, the CMF series, uh, or the Lego Batman movie. I'm not sure. Uh, next, we have Robin Hood, or is it Robin? Robin Hood, I don't know, <laughs> figure, we actually got two of them, one doesn't have a headpiece, or a hairpiece, but both of them are pretty sick to get, because I don't have too many superheroes, and here's that Batman with the kind of summer shirt without the floaties, we got two of them, uh, that one didn't have it, and this right here, I'm not sure what this fig is called, I know there's two of them, and they come in like twins, like it's kind of like the thing that set the chem in, uh, let me know what fig this is because I don't know. I can look it up right now, but honestly, I don't know the name. So uh, maybe I'll go back and grab the second one. Uh, right here we have the Joker from the Lego Batman movie. And I believe this is the Arkham Asylum Joker, or maybe it came in the Arkham Asylum set. So I think that actually might be worth something. Right here we have another Joker. I saw a bunch of Jokers, and I don't have too many Jokers. So I grabbed a few. I didn't want to grab all of them because I knew I had... 
a bunch more sets or figures to grab. So here's another Joker. Don't know if it's supposed to have the short legs, but this one has short legs. And then last from the superheroes is Rocket. There's that Rocket from earlier. And right here, I believe it's from the Poly Bag. Um, don't know if that was just a regular Poly Bag, but yes, this one's from the Poly Bag. Okay, so I dumped out the rest of the figures. A lot of the figures I got right here are either from like CMF series or just figures I thought were interesting. And I, I got a lot of the older uh, vintage stuff, like vintage knights and stuff. Right here is like a um, a figure from a CMF series. And all of these are like Trojans from that same series. This is the F Flash, I believe. Um, so that's cool to have. Here is a Santa Claus. I believe this is from a CMF series. It has the kind of like the minifig plate with his little um, sack. We have Count Dracula right here. And then we got a lot of the old knights. I know, Shy, if you're watching this, you're going to love it. Macro. We might have a bunch of old knights that we got. Here's some more CMF series. Here's that genie I was talking about, the other genie. We managed to get a policeman. I believe this one was from series 2020 or 19, but this was what one per box um, for the police policeman. So that was super cool to find. There was also some Harry Potter stuff. So here's a kind of like an older Harry Potter. Up here we have this cool tiki mask guy, and I thought a lot of these figures I'm getting or will be great for videos. So all these like Knights and Kingdom characters, and also the Harry Potter. Here's a Star Wars guy. I forgot this guy. Um, but a lot of these figures I would use for videos and whatnot. So they would be great. Especially got them for super cheap. So like around a dollar or so per figure. Um, it's super fun to have all these figs. Especially like these vintage knights. I know they're going for a lot. So I was like I might as well grab them before someone else does. And I regret not picking them up. And this cool little shark dude. I know he's a CMF character. I uh, missed out on a bunch. I also forgot this older Grievous. I know it doesn't have the cape, but I do have an older Grievous now. And also I forgot the arms. Ooh, maybe I'll go back and grab some. Or I'll brick link some. But here's like kind of like a bat, kind of vampire dude from a CMF series. And then a baseball player. I know his bat's right there. Uh, kind of like a, I forgot what you call this, pipe bag player from CMFs. Uh, more vintage um, knights and whatnot. Here is a Harry Potter fig. This is Draco's father, I believe. Um, I do not have this fig, so it's nice to get that. Here is a fig from Jurassic World. I forgot what professor this is or a character. Uh, we have kind of the meme man from the CMF series there. This was super cool. I know Brent would like this because it has the ghost man. And this one actually glows in the dark too, so that is cool as I don't have that. Here's this skeleton dude uh, with his jack-o'-lantern. See, a lot of these are from the CMF series. I know they collected a bunch of those. Um, there's a bunch more Star Wars sets and uh, figures from those sets, and they're all complete. So maybe I'll go back. Uh, this is like a clone bomber. Um, don't have the helmet. I don't know where the helmet went for that one. Uh, there's another knight, then there's more kind of like uh, mummy people, more knights, uh, kind of like a shark dude from the CMF series. We have a Dobby finally, I know I don't have a Dobby. Uh, here's a clone gunner, don't have the body, maybe this is the body, I'm not sure if they go together, I don't think so, because I think he has green right there. Um, don't know what fig this is from, I think he's a Star Wars character. Not quite sure, but yes. And those conclude, other than this kind of red beard dude and this wizard of the miscellaneous figs. So up first we have Commander Cody, but it's the keychain version. Um, I thought this was like the Commander Cody, but I guess it was the keychain version. But at least I could say now I have a Commander Cody Phase 1. Right here we have Magneto. This fig was pretty cool. I saw this in the picture in the corner it was just the helmet i saw like the purple with the little horns and i was like i have to have this i think this is the face for him uh but this is amazing to get this fig this is a super old uh marvel fig 
So that's cool to have. So these figs basically doubled and tripled the value of this haul right here. Like I was saying earlier, I think this is Jango Fett. I believe this is Jango Fett. I don't know if it's just a Mandalorian um, soldier, but I believe this is Jango Fett. You gotta let me know. But this is pretty cool. I believe this is complete and also, oh, his jetpack's broken. I guess I could get him a new one. But I believe this one is Jango Fett. Right here we have the prototype boba fett this thing is amazing i know it's going up in value as the years go on so it was super cool to find this in this haul i know i had the other body and um torso on the jetpack i seen get another helmet so that's cool to have so these last three figs were the jackpot finds first one is kanan from the ghost now if i can play my cards correctly i could possibly get a ghost complete for super cheap i have to find out if the person has it i'm gonna ask tonight if they have it or not but this was a score looking back at the footage i just missed this holy grail of a minifig this is the black hair canon juris which only came in the ghost um lego set and it was an air minifig this has the black hair which makes it over 200 dollars this is insane this fig is in such great condition it has the black hair, no cracks, very clean. I scored super big on this fig in this whole haul. This is probably like a thousand dollar Lego haul that I paid a hundred dollars for. And also with the Kanan, she had the blind version as well. So these two figs are from Rebels and they're awesome to have because I do not have anything from Rebels. So if I could score that ghost, that would be a haul of the century. Okay, so the figure that basically paid for this entire haul by itself and some is Thrawn. I got super lucky. I got this figure. I saw in the corner of the original listing, I saw his blue head and also the hands. I was like, that's Thrawn. I need this. I kept on messaging the lady. I was like, oh, Keen, are you available this day? I said, like, oh, maybe this weekend. And then I finally got to be able to pick up all these figs plus some couple sets and I got the Thrawn. Originally when I got there, it was just the head and torso in the bucket. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll take this one. Um, I knew it had white legs, so that was super easy. I found some white legs to put on him, but the hair piece was super hard to find because there was two big buckets of figures and the hair piece was at my, the very bottom. So I had to go dig for that for like 20 minutes, but I found it and I was like, oh, this is like a hundred dollar fig I have right here. So I was super lucky to have this fig and all the other figs I found inside the hall. So I might be going back for another haul um, in the next week because I know there's a couple other stuff I want to get. So I'll let you guys know about that. This haul today was super epic and crazy. There was a bunch of figs that were super valuable that I got for really cheap. Let me know if the $100 was worth it. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your favorite fig that you saw in today's video. And this is West Coast Bricks signing off.